<laughs> Y'all ready for this? Oh my god. That was terrible, Thomas. Yeah. You had to like really commit to it. You didn't commit to it. I didn't know you were going to go live. Well, that's that was my plan. <laughs> oh man. Force you to start singing. Bamboozled. And then go live in the middle of it. Bamboozled. Who's out there? Hi, Hi everybody. There's our chat working. I'm worried that our chat isn't working. Oh, it's working. It's working. Sep two. How's it going? And Zeke's here again. Zeke. Is it Zeke or? I think it's Zeke. Well, I think they go by other names as well. PSN Square. From Germany. Nice. Germany. I've been to Germany. I'm going to be in Germany next week. Well, I'll be at the airport. Frankfurt Airport. It's exciting. It is. Um, Brazil, nice. We're all going all around the world. Sing it all around the world. Our familiar faces. No, you, that's not the song I was oh, thinking of. Okay, I was, I was like, that's sad. Yeah, it was before your time, Thomas. <laughs> uh, no, I was thinking of the Mace song. Anyway, um, UK. There we go, Kid oh, Fury. Oh, it's all around me. I'm, I'm ridiculous. I yeah, well, up. yeah, I messed up. That. All right, now that we butcher that intro, I feel like one of these days we're going to hit this intro and hit it hit uh, it running. I mean, I think this is... We're running on all cylinders right now. We are... We're more like a V... Uh, like an I-4, four-cylinder. We're not quite a V-6 or V-8 yet. Okay. Okay. We need to be a V-12. You want to hear a joke? No. Oh, okay. Tell the joke. I know you've been waiting <laughs> to tell it since we've been on stream. Tell the joke to all the folks who are li sitting there listening to us. What's 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 ramen? What's ramen? Yeah, what's ramen? I don't know what's ramen. What's the joke? That's what Scooby Doo says at the end of his prayers. Oh my god. Oh, okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Rut row. Uh, hey Rocket, thanks for the thanks for the compliment on the shirt. Um it's okay. I I, I, I I know you're saying nice shirt because it's a Spider-Man shirt. But in my opinion, it's not that nice of a shirt. It could have been better quality. That's I, all I'm saying. I love that shirt. That's all I'm saying. Uh, how's it going, Ratchet? Thanks for the follow. Uh, Rage. That's kind of a cool way to spell Rage. Rage 17. All right, so today, I'll, I'll cut to the chase. Today, we are playing Robo Recall, but... We are not just playing Robo Recall. We are going to try to complete all the challenges. Now, if you haven't played the game, you'll see what the challenges are. But basically, you can finish a level and and get points. Uh, but on top of that, if you complete all the challenges, you know you 100% complete the game. So, the some of the challenges are cool, and you'll see Brian Brian Villasente is over here playing, with, and we'll okay. show him in a second. And uh, he's really interested in doing the martial artist challenge, which is a challenge um, where you can't use weapons. You basically have to oh. kill all the robots without using your guns. And because Brian's into martial arts, it makes sense that he wants to do that. So we're about to cut to the game. Uh, for those just joining, oh, real quick, I have to plug this. I have to, if I can find it. If you haven't entered our contest, I know Germany and UK and Brazil, I apologize. This is a US only contest. But insomniac.games slash custom VR ready PC giveaway. Uh, go there, enter to win. In Mar March 6th, we will be giving away those PCs. We will be drawing names, I guess. Beautiful. PCs. Or announcing. We'll be announcing the names um, live. They on are. this stream. On this stream. Gorgeous. Thank you for the kind words, PSN Square. We enjoy making games, and we enjoy that you enjoy those games. So, this game is not one of our games. This game is by Epic Games, who you know, maybe you don't know, but they've all, they also do games like Fortnite, and um, they used to, back in the day, do Gears of War, and uh, a bunch of other games. Yep. They also make the Unreal Engine, which is very much real. Um, let's cut to the game. 
All right, so uh, you want to go down the list of stuff that... Yeah, we'll talk about that here. So you you don't have a mic, so if you talk, you need to talk louder. But, All right, I'll but talk we'll tr- louder. But we'll try to... See, here's the challenges. Okay, for those who don't know this game, you basically recall robots, and recalling them means destroying them. Like right. shooting them, ripping their heads off, you know, basically just killing them, killing the robots. That's what recalling is. Um... We've only done the intro mission. We this is the first mission in the game, and you can see some of the challenges are he needs to complete the mission with 500,000 500,000 points, complete the mission with a million points, complete the mission with 2 million points, recall 10 robots with thrown bullets because you can grab bullets and throw them in this game. Um, and Norway's here, thanks. And then uh, double shot which is perform 5 double recalls, which is I believe a double kill basically. Yeah, it is. And then um, complete all oh are you going to play in all star mode all star mode is not unlocked oh okay so we can't do the, all the challenges but we'll do as many as we can yeah so brian can go ahead and get started yeah, hopefully uh, let us know if the game volume is too loud or if we're too quiet or if we need to be quiet or if thomas gets too crazy um i think we might need to turn it up here no we don't need to hear it oh, okay i know what it sounds like it sounds cool it's got a really cool soundtrack and it reminds me a lot of, uh, well, totally it reminds me a lot of Smash TV, which is one of the reasons I love this game so much. Yes, so, Smash so, TV is a lot of fun. So as you can see, uh, the premise of the game is you get guns. The cool thing about the guns that you get is they just, once you're out of ammo, you just toss them. And new ones spawn. And, uh, yeah, Billy says settle down, Thomas. You're getting a little, getting a little crazy. Whoa. Now, you, you can throw the gun at a robot to yeah. kill them, right? You basically anything. See, you can also grab them. See how he grabbed the robot and threw it? Uh, you can grab them and rip their arms off and beat themselves with it. What was that? Ch- uh, I'm going to rip, rip your arms off and beat you with it. What uh, is that from? I don't know, but I, I recognize that, that too. Is that Varsity Blues? Yeah, it is Varsity Blues. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yes. That's, that's old school. That's old school, like Tombstone. <laughs> Tombstone. How do you change my profile picture? In what, Twitch? Is that what you're asking? Because there's a lot of profile pictures out there. Ooh. Man, that robot. So as you can see, he's got he's got only got 50,000 points right now, but he's got some time. He's got to at least get 500,000. Um, yeah. It looks like he played this level once, and he got 783,000. He's getting targeted. See how you can grab like all the robots and use them against the other robots. Is it like is it like a little bit of magnetism if he grabs a robot that's a little bit out of his reach, or do you have to just like touch it? Yes, Kid Fury slash Bart. I will say your name. Uh, your Twitch profile picture. I believe you have to go to the right, the top right, and click on your little name, and there's a profile, and you can edit your profile there. I think. I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it would be up with your um, top right. There's a profile thing. So for those just joining us, we're playing Robo Recall. It's by Epic Games. Epic also makes the semi-popular Fortnite. Just a little popular. Just a little popular. Just a little. Um, and they've made plenty of other games. They're, they're actually 15, 20 minutes from here. Yeah. They're, they're closer to my house than we are at the studio, but, um, so anyway, he's, uh, he's starting to pick up the, the multipliers now. He's got times four, so that's good. He's gonna get more points. Times five. The more points he gets, the better his score, obviously, and the more things he does with the robots, like grabbing them, ripping their arms off, double kills, um, and whatnot. That's, that's how you get points in this game. And that's basically, I mean, this game does have a story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I don't want to sell it short, but I mean, I'm, it, the, the game was made as an arcade game, right? I mean, I'm right. probably not speaking out of place for Epic by saying this is a, more of an arcade style. The story's not the main draw, it is, yeah. but it's nice. But it does have a little bit of a story, but the main, the goal of the game is to basically score points right. and, and get higher on the leaderboards. There we go. Just grabbing Great bullets caught. out of the air. What do we do at Insomniac? I work on the community team. I do this. This is what I do. I sit here and I talk. Um, no, I do. Um, 
anything from social media to support to our for well we don't have forums anymore but discord reddit um go to events uh you know help out with community relations between um you know feedback i take feedback back to the team to help make the games better bug support which then i pass off to thomas because yep. thomas is is a qa extraordinaire Ooh. and nice. uh and uh a qa tester yeah but qa sure. extraordinaire sounds better i like it yeah i'll take it and brian who's playing is uh on the project management team yep and he manages the project the project. No mercy. No mercy. How's it going, Jack? How's it going, that boy Jay? Though, yes, I love that name. Are one of the mods or admins on Discord? What do you mean? I I am an admin on Discord, and actually Thomas is also a mod slash insomniac on Discord. Yeah, I'm from Cerro on Discord. Are you one of the mods? Yes, I read that wrong. Yes, I am one of the mods. I own the Discord. <laughs> we're, we're listed as Insomniacs on the Discord. Yes. Um, I am Viddy, for those who don't know. I, it said it when we first got live on the stream. Um, but those of you who just joined us, you don't know that. He is from Cero on the Discord. Brian is not on the Discord, but Brian is playing Robo Recall. That's right. This game is very shiny and cool. This is a this is a showpiece for VR Unreal Engine, basically. I mean, Epic makes Unreal, so of course they're going to show off all the beauty of Unreal. Um, we do not use Unreal, but we still appreciate Unreal. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, and it's one of the showpieces for, for VR in general. It's definitely one of those games that. Yeah. Like, what should I check out in VR? This is one of those. Yeah. Those, like, yeah. This is one of the first ones you should play. Well, this is the second one you should play. The first one would be The Unspoken. Sure. <laughs> the second one would be Robo Recall. No, there's a lot of games. Lone Echo. Basically, every game we've played on stream, you should check out because they're all cool. Super hot. Uh, Super hot's amazing. What else did we play? Uh, we played From Other Sons. We played Don't Keep Talking, Nobody Explodes. We played. Uh, I'm missing a couple. Oh, Sprint Vector just came out. That's fun. Um, Return to Sender. Return to Sender is not a game, so I don't know what that means. No, Return to Sender is one of the achievements. <laughs> just, I, know, I know, I hear you. So he's getting the, he's locking in the achievements here. He's got 4, 400,000 points. He needs to get to 2 million to get that challenge unlocked. Come on. For once I make it, this is the first time tuning into a Twitch stream. Well, welcome, Spider Donut. Uh, I'm wearing a spider on my shirt, but we are not talking about spiders. We are talking about robots today. Uh, actually, we're talking about whatever you want. But we're playing Robo Recall. Fun game. Brian's playing. He's trying to. We're trying to beat all the challenges. It's kind of hard because he, you know, he didn't really get a whole bunch of warm-ups. Um, but at the very least, you get to see him sweat and work for these challenges. It looks intense. It is. How do we make games? Um, That's a question. <laughs> that, that is... Well... well very carefully. First, the crust of the earth cooled. And then... <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. You, we you, uh -oh. we use a We use a game engine. Our game engine. And you... You know, we have programmers, we have animators, we have artists. They put all these pieces together. Designers, script writers. Um, audio and like they all put all the pieces together and the game works. It's a lot of hard work work from a yeah. lot of really talented people. Is yeah. the, the short of it. Yes, this is Unreal 4. This is uh I don't know if it's four. It might be four. I don't know what I don't know what number, whatever the latest is. This is uh Robo Recall by Epic Games. So Epic makes Unreal, so yes, this is an Unreal game. Mm -hmm. This is Unreal. Um It looks great. Yeah. As do most Unreal games. Yep. I love the grabbing the bullets out of the air. Yeah. It's kind of like, um... 
Well, it looks like he's, he's he's bleeding out a little bit. He needs to get some get some safety. He gets this. So this mission, I can't kill them. I've actually got to toss them into this board back here. Ah, so that's why he can't actually kill them. He's got to actually throw them into that if vortex or portal. Called alive. So so this is not the dead or this is not the dead part of dead or alive. This is the alive part. So he needs to actually toss them. He's got two more to go. He's got 500,000 points, so he's hit that threshold. He hasn't hit the million threshold. Um, you lose multiplier, multiplier on your shot. Yeah. So, uh, looking at the chat, Zeldrin came here to rewatching the Spider-Man 2002 film, and I have an idea. Well, I I uh, I like listening to ideas. However, we can't really take ideas from outside the company. Um, you can take feedback, uh, and that's not to say you don't have an amazing idea. I just can't comment on ideas from outside the company. So, um, I can say we were working hard on Spider-Man, and we have a lot of awesome people working on that game, and a lot of awesome ideas. And it's from what I've played and have seen so far, it's going to be amazing, and, or spectacular, or whatever the other Spider-Man Ultimate. It's going to be very excited. But we're not talking about anything beyond that, so... Uh, can I send you a friend request on PSN? Well, we don't really have an Insomniac Games account on PSN. I, I used to have a community accounts, but we haven't really used them in a while, so... If we start playing um, online games, then sure. But right now, we're not currently playing online games on the stream. Uh, Epic did make Fortnite, yes. Epic makes Fortnite, they made... Uh, all right, I'm going back to the office. Paragon. Paragon. They made um, uh, Gears of War. So he got 800,000. He didn't get all the challenges. I he got, got special delivery. He got two challenges. So that wasn't as good as we had hoped. But at least we can go to the next level. Yeah. Did they do Shadow Complex? Was that epic or is it just produced? I honestly... I'm not sure. That's a really good game. Yeah. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I'm sure there's some people in the office that would know. Um... Like a real winner. Our analysis has and that voice in this hotspots. game is definitely, at least in my mind, that's a callback to Smash AI TV. That really sort of smart broadcaster voice. Yeah. Do you for, for if Smash TV managed, is what Brian's yeah, referring yeah, Smash to. TV. If, uh, for any of you guys, if that was before your time, I highly recommend playing it. It's still a lot of fun. What engine do we use? We use, wait for it, the Insomniac engine. We use our own, our own engine. We've always used our own engine. There's only... Uh, a couple games, and they were all 2D based mobile slash PC games that did not use the Insomniac engine, and those used Unity. Um, that would be Song of the Deep in our mobile games. But everything else we've made, we will need to defend on every 3D game we've made since the history of existence has been the Insomniac engine. Okay. So Who made the Insomniac engine? We did. <laughs> And we still make it. We still make it. Every single day we make it and update it. Uh, the Insomniac Engine, uh, Al Hastings is our chief architect. He start. I mean, he was one of the three founders, and they started back in the day, and, you know, ever since then, every time we, I mean, we, I mean, what, like, weekly we're updating the engine, basically. Um, the only time we don't is when there's, like, major deadlines coming up, and we usually hold off big updates until after those deadlines pass. Um... Did you mention the name? It's it's uh, it's called Luna. Well, yes, but it, technically it's just the Insomniac, the Insomniac engine. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Infinity Blade. That's right. Epic did make Infinity Blade. Thanks, Adam. Get back to work. <laughs> um, Infinity Blade's really cool too. Let's see. I'm I'm trying to catch up with chat. You guys are asking a lot of questions, which is awesome. Is Spider-Man PS4 still in development? Or are you putting the finishing touches on it? Ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I'm going to say. It's still in development. Mm. But we could be putting the finishing touches on it. But it's also still in development, and it could be not finish putting the finishing touches on it. Who knows what the future holds? Who knows what the future holds? Thomas, you are learning. Um, what was your previous comment? Sorry. I don't know what your previous comment was. Sorry, Zeldrin. Uh, you can ask it again. Um, modified Sunset Overdrive engine. Well, I mean, yes, you can call it the Sunset Overdrive engine. It's the Insomniac engine. It's the same one that ran Ratchet PS4, 
the same one that ran Fuse, the same one that ran... Well, it all... The, the newest version of the engine started with Fuse and then went to Ratchet, PS4, um, Sunset Overdrive, Spider-Man. All of our VR titles are done in the same engine. Um, Does Spider-Man make you guys realize how far you've come in the gaming world? I mean, I th I think so, but I feel maybe maybe just because I've worked here for so long, I feel like we were kind of well recognized before. But yeah, for sure, this is gonna put us in a different different level because of the brand of Spider-Man. So uh, it is cool to see that um, the people at Marvel entrusted us with with that IP. Yes. And entrusted us to make a game that we wanted to make with the story that we want to tell. Yeah, when I was uh, coming up, uh, I was a bit younger and playing Spyro. Uh, and ever since then, Insomniac, for me, was always one of like the like top names, top mm -hmm. developers. You can start names. the mission. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to skip everything else here. Hopefully, I'll just... Oh, he's doing the martial artist. Yeah, okay. so hopefully, I'll... I'll get one of these uh, achievements here, but the one I'm going for here is complete a mission without firing. Okay, he's a going weapon. to complete the mission without firing a weapon. He's going to be the martial artist. I'll try to answer questions as we go. Uh, yes, I said we can't really take ideas from outside the company, but we feedback's great. Like if if we release a game or a video or whatever, and you give us feedback on it, awesome. But we can't really listen to ideas about like stories or town, new games or new features. Like, you, to pacify this area. Uh, you know, the it's just hard relay. because we have our own ideas and we don't want to legally Three, two, mess anything up by, right. you know, say we happen to use someone's idea and then they come back and say you stole my idea. You know, we don't we don't like we don't want to play that game, but we also have over 250 people in this company and they all have ideas. So, you know. We like to trust the people that we hire as well as listen to your feedback because your feedback is important. I love that people get creatively inspired by me. By, uh, oh, for sure. And, and, awesome. and I love I love the fact that the passion that you guys have to yeah. give us these ideas. Um, awesome. But I'd, I'd rather it be formed in the way that it's feedback versus an idea. Does that make sense? Give us your feedback. Yes, please. We'd love to hear it, and I will certainly pass along feedback. I almost always pass along feedback to the dev team. Oh yes, Zeldrin, that's that was what you said. I can't I can't really talk about that or comment on that idea. That's what I just talked about. Sword of Athena. Jack remembers. <laughs> who who is it that Googled that for us? I forget. Are you gonna make Sunset Overdrive 2? Uh that'd be awesome. I'd love to make sense of it. I think that's your cue. We're not. Who knows what the future holds? Uh, yeah, I'd, uh, we're not currently making sense of Overdrive 2. It would be awesome. Um, we would need, as we've said probably a million times, I think James even said it on the streams and Ted said it. We basically need, uh, you know, we need a publisher. We need someone to a uh, partner. Um, but we would love to do it. But, you know, we do have a little game called Spider Man that we're focused on right now, so. Just a little thing. I was sweating here. So Thomas wasn't here for sunset. I was I was around for sunset. Yes, uh, I I pretty much worked on every game. I mean I'm on the community team, but I've worked on every game since Resistance Three was my first game. What was it like working motion capture for Resistance Three? I personally wasn't there. Uh, we did some videos. I believe we did some videos, uh, and they should be on our YouTube. Um, if you go to our YouTube, youtube.com, it's right there on the bottom of the screen, right here, right here, see? Uh, and you search Resistance, or Resistance 3, I believe we had some behind the scenes mocap videos from, um, there was like a scene, and may maybe Sony has them on their YouTube, but there was like a the scene from the helicopter, and like they had the guy hanging from like rafters, and they shot it, and he dropped down onto a pad, anyway, we did some mocap videos. Um, for Resistance 3, but I personally wasn't there for that. I was at the studio during the time Resist Resistance 3 was made, though. 275 plus. That, that's 
probably probably correct is we probably have about 275 people now um a lot of that is um you know that includes qa admin um you know project hires you know all kinds of stuff there's there's a lot of people here we're probably as big as we've ever been right now um obviously spider-man we've said that is the biggest game we've made so far um how did Marvel and Insomniac Games team up? So Marvel and Sony teamed up. Uh, Marvel went to Sony. Sony came to us and asked if we wanted to make a Marvel game. And we said, you know, I don't, I don't, I mean, this is like paraphrasing. I, we didn't actually say uh, what I'm about to say, but we, we basically were like, uh, well, what can we, you know, what can we make? We had some ideas. As soon as someone, uh, I think it was Brian Intahar, was all excited about Spider-Man, obviously, because he's the creative director. And they said we could make a Spider-Man game, and we were like, uh, yeah, of course we want to make a Spider-Man game. But yeah, Marvel went to Sony, and then Sony came to us, because we had a great relationship with Sony. Um, and now, now we have a great relationship with Marvel. I hope. I hope they like us. I like them. I'm looking at the chat, sorry. There's a lot of longer questions. Yeah, you can. I mean, every every YouTuber and Simon confirms Sunset Overdrive too. <laughs> I mean, we've said that on the stream before, and it makes news every single time. Yes, we would love to do Sunset Overdrive too. No, we're not working on Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive too. Yes, we would need a partner to help with Sunset Overdrive too. So anyway, it'd be cool. I'd love to do it. I love Sunset. We all love Sunset. Well, not, can't speak for everyone in the studio, but. I love Sunset. Most people love Sunset. Very unique. You can ask one more thing about Spider-Man. I can't guarantee I'm going to answer it. Because we're not really talking about anything that's, you know, not already available to the public. Brian's killing it right now. He's I know. He's just flinging these robots. He's doing the martial artist thing, so he hasn't not shot... He hasn't fired a weapon. But do... Does throwing back bullets count? As... Uh, Actually, my understanding is that uh, it does not, or it, you can complete it by throwing bullets back. Robots, you just can't fire any weapons. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the side of caution. Were, were you just at a basketball court? Yes, I was. Can you throw, throw a robot? Through the, throw a head. Throw the robot's head through the hoop. Through the hoop. That would be amazing. Um, so this guy is an enemy and a weapon. Interesting. So I just have to it's destroying without using him again. Without against. using him, yes. Sure, rip one of the head arms off and beat them with it. Watch, this is awesome. Ah, ah. It's amazing what you can get away with <laughs> with robots. Yes, with robots. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't fly with a human. Whoa. Um Thoughts on Spyro games not made by Sonic. I don't have thoughts on Spyro games not made by Sonic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have thoughts. Um, what is the name of the gadget that pulls people in and sticks them to the wall in Spider-Man? You asked that in Discord. And I said, it does have a name. I think Insomniac developed every game ever. Oh, if Insomniac developed every game ever, that would be a better place. Well, thank you very much. Um, although, we do believe there's plenty of other great game developers out there. Yeah, like, um, yeah. and, and including Epic, who are, we're playing right now. You know, I don't want to just go down the list, but I, you know, I could name off a billion great game developers. Gorilla, Naughty Dog, Pro CD Projekt Red, Blizzard. I like playing a lot of games always. Yeah, Rockstar, all those. They're all great. And and, and I, while I appreciate the sentiment of that comment, um, I don't know if we would be able to make every game ever made. I think you'd get sick of us at that point. One game comes out a year. Oh, man. I think we, <laughs> we'd get sick of making games, I think, if we did one. We used to, back in the day, pump out games every year, and it... It's hard. It's definitely hard, especially now that games are what, what they are. Um, I've never played Sunset Overdrive because I chose the PS4 or Xbox. Well, yeah, I understand. You know, we Microsoft. We had a great working relationship with Microsoft there, and you know, it just was an Xbox exclusive. They published the game, they funded the game, um, uh, and that's just how it works. Uh, and Anastasia has never played Sunset either. That's okay. Hopefully, you've watched the videos of it. It's fun. Um, and if you ever uh, get an Xbox or borrow an Xbox or whatever, uh, you should definitely play it. Definitely uh, has a unique voice. Yes, it's definitely a, it's definitely a, a very unique game in my opinion. It's hard to compare. It. 
uh, is Spider-Man the biggest open world game you are making? Spider-Man is the biggest game we are making. And the only other open world game we've ever made was Sunset. And yes, Spider-Man is bigger than Sunset, for sure. So they're going to try to destroy this thing, and I have to fend this off without... I have to fend them off without shooting anything. Okay, so he's got two minutes to defend this thing, whatever it is. They might have said it. Uh, without shooting any of them, because he needs to complete this level without firing a weapon. Um, how did Ted Price make Insomniac games? I mean, I... I'll give you the brief history because, like, I'm not a hundred. Like, I'll probably butcher this a little bit, but he uh, went to school, um, worked for a medical company as a uh, controller, controller like accountant kind of. Oh, I see. Yeah, and just wanted to make games, and then uh, I don't remember who he met first. It was either Al, I think it was Al, Al Hastings who then invited Brian Hastings, his brother, along, and then they basically, Ted just quit his job and started Insomniac, and they started making Disruptor. For what it's worth, almost everybody I've met in this industry did something else totally unrelated to video games before they got into it. Yeah. Um, what do you mean, I'm reading real fast. I have feedback, you should rename it to Elon Gating, webum. Oh, elongating, webum up device. Oh, I get it for the one that sticks people together. I will pass that feedback along, but that's you know. I think it's already named. I'll say that. Uh, do you think we'll ever make a completely new franchise? We have plenty of times. So you may not know. I hope you do. But go to our website. You'll see. Um, oh, last year alone, we released five games. And four of the five were brand new franchises, right? Yeah, uh, Edge of Nowhere, Feral Rights, The Unspoken. Not last year, 2016. We released five games. Right. Last, yeah. I was thinking about that. Yeah. Was, like, was it last year? Song of the Deep. Those are all brand new franchises. Um, we've also done Fuse. We've also done. Um, I mean, Ratchet and Clank was a new franchise when we made it. Viral was a new franchise when we made it. The only one that is not a new franchise that we have made is Spider-Man. But it is a new universe, so that counts, maybe. We need more Ratchet games. I will say this about Ratchet. Ready? Go for it. Who knows what the future holds? That's his catchphrase. Yeah. Well, it's not my catchphrase, it's just a catchphrase that I use. What are your thoughts on Spider-Man PS4 fan films? I I mean, we love them. We, the Spidey Squad always sends us, uh, well, I mean, not just the Spidey Squad, but they send us stuff. Um, and we've seen plenty of fan-made trailers and, and videos, and uh, we love it. Fan art, everything. I, I mean, love checking that stuff out. Yeah. The reaction videos or any kind of, like, yes. Spider-Man hype YouTube stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking at late at night. Yeah, honestly, all of it. Give us, give us it all, um, and we try to share it the best we can. Um, so yeah, we we like fan fan film, not just from Spider-Man, but anything, any of our games. We love fan, fan art, fan films, fan videos, whatever. Unless there's a bug, I didn't fire a gun once there. Does Peter call Aunt May in Spider-Man, Aunt May, or just May? Uh, again, I can't talk about anything that if it's not in a trailer. I can't Boom. talk about it. They did it. He got the martial artist. Congrats. Yeah. Congratulations. Go fuck. All right, Thomas, you taking over here? Sure. Thomas is going to switch. So let's go back here. I'll be by myself for a little bit. Thomas is not here, so I'm going to remove his name. What's your favorite game gaming franchise that we make? Um, yeah. That we make. Thomas, what's your favorite Insomniac game? Franchise or game? Franchise or game? Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Um, I mean, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank for Thomas. Oh. Brian, what's your favorite Insomniac franchise or game? Uh, Sunset Overdrive for sure. Sunset Overdrive. I would say Resistance mm -hmm. 3 for me. Maybe because it holds a special place in my heart as being my first, first game. one. Yeah. But also because it's an amazing campaign. Um, but I do love Sunset as well. Mm hmm. 
What's your? Uh, how did you get a job at Insomniac? Uh, Brian, how did actually, you get a job I can, at Insomniac? I, I can answer that. Um, I actually started in QA here, um, I think it was five years ago. Um, and prior to that, uh, I was the music composer for uh, Tetris, and I lived in Honolulu. Um, and that, uh, well, the, the branch I was working for closed down. Um, and I hadn't, uh, well, I've been doing just composition work. I hadn't been doing like a lot of really heavy um, sound design work. But I wanted to work for a company that uh, was really good to its employees and was making really good games. So applied for a QA position here, did that for a while, and then moved into project management. Nice. And me, I, well, I, I came as a web developer, mm -hmm. and I got a job, <laughs> and then, and then I just moved to doing different things within community, and mm -hmm. now here I am on stream, infamous, mm -hmm. infamous on the Insomnia Game Stream. Uh, for those who just joined us, real quick, welcome to the stream. We're playing Robo Recall. We're taking your questions. We're hanging out. We're chatting. I got Brian De La Senta here. Mm -hmm. He's in the project management team. Uh, we're going about Thomas. You know Thomas if you've been to any of our streams. Thomas is on the QA team. I'm, I'm Tim Salviti. Vidi, for those who know me online. Salviti and Di Lucente, huh? Yeah, this is a very Italian very, feeling stream. Very Italian. Um, real quick, if you haven't already and you're in the US, I apologize to everyone else. Go to this website, enter to win this PC, insomniac.games slash custom VR ready PC giveaway. We made three of these things. If you go to that website, you'll see the video of us making it and, you know, try to win it. We're going to announce the winners live on March 6th. March 6th. Uh, and here we go. Thomas is in the game. He's going to start a mission. He's going to try to complete some challenges. Oh, we, did you look at the challenges? I did. Okay. Well, we'll have to tell people. I'm going for just as many points as I can get. This is, I'm not going to be as impressive as Brian. He has much more experience than I do. Flattery will get you everywhere. Thank you for the questions, Zel Zeldrin. Zeldrin? Am I saying that right? Thank you for the questions. I know, again, I can't talk a lot about Spider-Man, but, you know. This is an interesting question. Does it ever get annoying that a lot of people only acknowledge you guys for Spider-Man and Sunset Overdrive? I don't... Well, no. I'm not sure that that's true, but... Well, okay, so, Spider-Donut, I will tell you this. Replace Sunset Overdrive for Ratchet and Clank. Mm -hmm. um, but, again, Spyro is also a big question we get, yeah. and... Sunset Overdrive used... I mean, yes, people recognize it for Sunset Overdrive. I'd like more people to recognize this for Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. I'd like more people to recognize this for our VR efforts as well, because our VR efforts uh, are amazing. And But no, it doesn't get annoying, because we made Ratchet, we made... We're making Spider-Man. Like, we're, these are games we made, so it's not like... I can't hate on people for liking our games. Yeah. Um, and, you know, some people, people love Ratchet more than they love some of the other games we made. That's fine. That's, you know, yeah, we've made, I, like, 15 Ratchets yeah. or something like that. Of course, but, of course they're going to like them more. As a, you know, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with me, but most people know Epic Games for Gears of War and for their engine. Yeah. To me, like, Robo Recall is the greatest thing I've ever done. I've probably put, like, I don't know, 100 hours into this, and I'm still not bored. Yeah. No. Absolutely love this game. So. Well, I think VR, VR in general, obviously, is a, is a small market right now. Mm -hmm. Um but I think people will realize that there's some amazing titles there. Um, sorry, we're gonna get catch up with chat here. Uh, what is Insomniac Games? Oh, where is Insomniac Games? Man, I'm not good at reading where. We have a studio in uh, Burbank, California, and we have this studio that we're in right now is in North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina. Durham. Uh, we're actually right down the street from Epic, who made this game. Um, there is a movie for Ratchet and Clank, yes. Came out 2016, same year as the game for PS4. Um, it's on. Uh, it might still be on Netflix, I believe. If, yeah, it was at one point. It was at one point. So if it's on Netflix, go check it out. Does it ever get annoying? Oh, we asked that one. Um, kind of remember going to the movies, really drunk, and watch, but still have doubts. Oh, okay. Well, you should watch it on Netflix, I guess. Salutations. How's it going? Sentient. Sentient. Oh man, I can't read that. Sentient. A theme. A theme. Yeah. How's it going? Salutations to you as well. Thank you, Zeldrin, and that boy, Jay, though. And I've already said Rage, but thanks again for the follows. Um, anyone who follows us, that's awesome. Because we're doing this five days a week, if you didn't know, if you're new to this, new to the stream. Um, 
three of those days are in Burbank, and they play mostly console games, but sometimes PC games. And we're streaming two days a week here, and we're currently doing mostly VR, but we will be doing uh, console and PC games as well. Um, but right now, we're just want to show off some VR stuff because we recently released The Unspoken, mm -hmm. which in our single player campaign for The Unspoken. So, you know, we're really into VR still, um, as well as Spider Man, and but we just can't show Spider Man. So, um, you liked Fuse. Thank you for uh, calculating Infini. Um, how did the Ratchet and Clank? What's up? I have to get back to my desk. But you're gonna leave me here. I'm gonna by leave myself. Tim. But no. thanks everybody for for watching. Brian's got to go do work. Yeah, I gotta go do work. Uh, we got about 20 more minutes still. Um, <clears throat> how did the Ratchet and Clank movie happen? Uh, I mean, we've been trying to make it. I think Ryan Schneider, our brand director, did a uh, blog post on this or an interview on this. Um, we were trying to make it for a long time. We just never found, you know, the right partners. Uh, but really, Ratchet & Clank itself is owned by Sony Interactive. And, John, you come and join me on stream? Oh, well, he's playing games right now, and we're live. But, I lost my train of thought. So, Sony Interactive owns Ratchet & Clank, so really, you know, ultimately, it's their call to do movies and, and, and license the property out. So, um, we were involved as consultants on the movie. We didn't actually make the movie. Um, or write the movie, but we did. We were involved as consultants to see the movie. Favorite VR game by far. Thank you. Well, not thank you, but thank Epic Games. Have you played The Unspoken? Have you played any of our VR games? Because you should. And if not, that's okay if it's not your favorite. I won't hate you. Trust me. I didn't watch the stream where you guys built the PC, but is building the PC hard? Um. Not as hard as it used to be, that's for sure. Uh, if you go to that URL that I showed, which is insomniac.game slash custom VR ready PC giveaway, I'll show it again before the end of the stream. If you go there, you can rewatch the video and see. Um, a lot of it's plug and play nowadays. Um, you just got to be careful of static and making sure you don't over tighten things. But no, it's not that hard. And in fact, I built my own, which says something because I'm not that great at building PCs. Should stream PS All Stars. Uh, we might, we might. I think I have a copy of it somewhere. Except the except two, PS4 mostly for Spider Man. Well, thank you. Although there are a lot of games, good, a lot of good games on PS4, including Ratchet Clank, um, Uncharted, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, new, new God of War is coming out. Thomas is. Thomas doesn't know what's going on now. He's got to he teleport around the dude and hit him from the back. Uh, Megaton. Yes. You keep... <laughs> we'll take a look at it. I don't know if we can stream it from here next week. Um, in fact, next week we have a schedule already because I'm headed to Poland at the end of the week for the Unspoken Grand Finals and I will be out of the office on Thursday and Thomas will be taking over as the stream host. Um, but I will pass that along to James and we'll see if they do it in Burbank. You can take control of F M I. F M I. Hey, you don't you don't sound rude. I butcher people's names all the time. Well, thank you, Zeldrin. Oh, oh my God, the sword! I'm gonna put the sword down. It's dangerous. I'm by myself right now, but Thomas is playing, so I don't feel as alone. Just take it easy, Anastasia. Thanks for thanks for coming by. Hopefully, we'll see you again. Uh, Jackbox Party Pack. I don't like that idea, Lauren. Not on the first date. I've not played any uh, VR games, but I've seen your trailers. When access to VR, I definitely uh, well. Thank you. Hopefully, you can check it out. Um, and hopefully, you do get access to VR at some point because you know everyone should experience it. Um, it's it's just. It's just amazing. It's, I mean, again, I've said this, it's not gonna replace traditional games, but it is a whole new experience and you can't get the half of it just from watching a stream. Uh, you bought a PS4 for GT5, GTA 5. Well, that's that's also a good game too. So, nothing wrong with that. A lot of people bought PS4s for plenty of other games. Some bought them for Ratchet and Clank. That was, that was cool to see that. The 
We don't have thoughts on other. Ra I mean, all the Ratchet games that were made um, were, 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 you know, amazing accomplishments in our eyes. So. Oh, I died. Thomas died. See, clearly Brian is. <laughs> clearly he doesn't have the skill set that Brian has in this game. I'm on a high, harder level. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. That's my excuse. Thomas died, but he's got decent score so far, though he just lost 10% for respawning. F of me. See? We were kind of right. But. E of me. E of me? E of me. Or F of me. Do you have a PS4? Yes, I do. In fact, we have a lot of PS4s in the office. It's one of the perks of making a PS4 game. Ratchet Extreme. Only reason I bought a PS4 was to play Ratchet and Clank. Well, thank you. But, again, there's a lot of good games on PS4. So, there's a lot of good games on Xbox. There's a lot of good games on PC. We got about 15 minutes still. Thomas, I don't know what he's doing right now. Are you playing still? Yeah. You gotta get close to these guys. I wanna see you get up and. Oh, you're defending that thing. He's defending that. Um, what is it called? He can't hear me. He's got his headphones on. Uh, our VR titles are only available on PC. Yes. They are Oculus titles. Uh, Edge of Nowhere, um, The Unspoken, and um, Feral Rights. Hey, no no worries. I, your name is a little bright. Charles Stenari. Charles Stenari. It's hard to see because of the monitor I'm looking at and your your teal name is kind of bright to read from this distance. Um, but yes, they're all on PC. They're all on the Oculus Store. And in fact, uh, they they recently have been going on sale. In fact, The Unspoken, which we'll be playing next week because of the VR Challenger League, um, is just released a um, single player campaign. So it's it's a perfect time to jump into that game if you, if you have VR on PC, PC VR. Or a rift, I should say. Too many good games on all platforms. Yes, that is true. There is too many good games on all platforms. And if we could all be so lucky as to own every platform and play every game. Yeah, that, that you know what? That's a good idea. I should change our chat to dark mode. Or dark theme. Because it'll help, for sure. I should have done that. Thank you for the suggestion. I will do that next time. Ah, do we ever think we'll develop a game for a Nintendo Switch? Not uh, again. I, I'll say there's no one here, so I can't like do my little thing. But who knows what the future holds? Who knows? We can't. We we've learned to never say never about a lot of things. We because if we never said never, I keep screwing that up. If we said never, we would have never made a. Spider-Man game because we were like only gonna work on our own IPs and our own games and and um, obviously Spider-Man is not our IP so like an IP we created because technically Ratchet's not our IP either but we did create Ratchet. Uh, I did see Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse tra teaser trailer. I did yes. Looks pretty cool. But I want to say to the people who get angry about no news, just wait. That's true. Uh, I mean, you don't need to get angry. And I understand, you know, we announced it two E3s ago. And it's been a while. And we, we've shown off some stuff, multiple trailers. But we haven't shown off a lot. And I understand. So, I mean, we don't hate you. Just, we can't say anything yet. Just stay, all I gotta do is say is stay tuned. And I hope... And and I know and I feel that the weight will be worth it. Some kind of anomaly. This might be important. I've seen the I have seen something similar where there was a PlayStation and an Xbox in a uh, suitcase that had a screen um, that you could take with you and play either platform um, portably. I I don't know if it was called the Playbox, but there is some sort of anomaly in the city center, Agent Thirty Four. We have gotten a lot of... I mean, we've been giving out tidbits here and there. We 
you know, over the course of the teaser trailer, and then we had the, you know, the, the most recent one, which gives a little bit more story details, and then we've had, we did a trailer rewinds, and we've done some interviews that have shown off some stuff, or talked about some stuff. So yeah, I mean, we've been releasing information, um, but I know a lot, of, a lot of people want a lot more about Spider-Man, and we will give it to them in due time. But I, I mean, I don't want to let, we obviously don't want to like spoil the game for people. Are there any chat commands that I can be aware of? I don't, I mean, we don't have any bots currently set up in chat. Um, we need to do that. That's one of the things we've been trying to uh, get get ahead of is we need to set up some bots. Oh, that's kind of a cool gun. It's got, got the spinning barrel. Where'd you oh, get that? Uh, from a guy. Picked it up. Well, get another one. I want to see that again. Jeez. Get another one! Oh my goodness. What's my favorite Xbox or PS4? I will say... Kills people with a leg. Currently... PC. Ha! Ah. That's only because I just built a new PC not too long ago, and I have been playing PC. But I, I like them all, both. I, I like the, you know, exclusives from both. If I play non-exclusive games, um, I try to play them on PC. Um, but, you know, really it just depends on... You know, I, I play both, so I don't have a preference, really. I will say I use my Xbox more for entertainment because it has my um, HD antenna plugged into it. So I watch, t like, local TV, I'll watch through the Xbox. But that's the extent of favoritism, I guess you could say. We should stream Minecraft one day. I mean, maybe we will. So <laughs> I know there's some people here that want to stream Minecraft. Am I right? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Can we make... We could do Minecraft VR. We could. But, I don't know. We'd have to make it interesting. What would you guys want to... How would we make a Minecraft stream interesting, in your opinion? If you give me some good suggestions about how we make Minecraft interesting, we will... We, I will do a nine Minecraft. Alright, we get that other guy again. Where is he? Uh, when Spider Man comes out, are we gonna stream it on Twitch? I I promise you, we will be showing a lot of Spider Man stuff on Twitch at some point. Um, I mean, special, especially once it comes out. But who knows? Maybe even before it comes out. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna show you much more of the game. Don't worry. We're not gonna just, like, say one day, hey, game's out, go get it. Although we could, that'd be fun. Survival games in Minecraft, okay. Alright. Building a Spider-Man statue, that's another suggestion. Could you, could you build a Spider-Man statue in Minecraft? Are you good enough? Yes, there is Minecraft VR. Uh, there's, I think there's Minecraft on every single platform, isn't there? Even mobile. Thomas is fine. You just... Did it reload the boat gun when you threw it off its face? Uh, Are you sure? I don't think so. Try it again. That was kind of cool. I did. It reloads it. That's awesome. You can throw an empty gun at the boss and it'll reload it. That's awesome. Try it again. Oh, he backed away. Why don't you use your shotguns? Um, because he, he's not, he's doing some kind of intro. You can't, we can't comment, uh, but Resistance Trilogy Remaster. I, I can comment, I can say that would be up to Sony. Because Sony, like Ratchet and Clank, Sony owns Red Resistance. And that would be them. Because we don't actually remaster, like when Ratchet um, HD for PS3 came out, that was Sony had that remastered. We didn't actually do that before. So, I will tell you, it's up to Sunny. And it would be cool to see. Because right, I love Resistance. Are you going to play Dead by Daylight? Uh, that's a good suggestion. I will make note of that. We could. You know what's a new game, uh, PC game, that a lot of people have been playing? Is that, uh, what's it called? The Hunt. Have you guys heard of The Hunt? Yeah, that looks a, awesome. There's a lot of streamers playing it right now, and I think we should do that. I think I'm going to pick it up. Well, then we're going to play on Thomas's account. Um, it just went early access. 
It's like a game where it's like a Western game where you're hunting like zombie things, um, but each hunter only one person can kill the zombie. Or excuse me, once the zombie's dead, there's a reward, and only one person can get that reward and and exit the level or whatever it's called. Um, so basically, it's a game of you're not just hunting the zombie; you're also fighting off the other hunters, and it's like a last man standing game. So, I again, I probably butchered that description, but go the Hunt Showdown. I think is this is what it's called. It's like a Western style zombie game where you're fighting against other people and you're all trying to get the main prize to get out um, of the arena. Anyway, that's what the Hunt is, and maybe we'll play that. That'd be cool. Warframe. That's a. Uh, that's also a good one. I know a couple people here play Warframe. That's a, another good suggestion. Thank you. I'll, I'll make note of all these. We're going to stick to VR for a little bit from for this show, for the Tuesday and Thursday show. Um, but we'll start sprinkling in uh, you know, PC games and stuff while Burbank still does all the console. And, um, you know, we'll play some console games here too because we got some Ratchet veter veterans here. And In fact, I think there's one or at least one person here who's working on Spyro. Are you going to play the hunt? Uh, we might. Get, we should definitely get it on stream. Oh, Warframe, you mean? Uh, yeah, the hunt is. Uh, I believe it's a CryEngine game. Yes, I. I think Crytek makes it. I don't know. I know it's a CryEngine game. We could probably play Warframe on stream. It's a free-to-play game, right? So, I mean, I could probably download it and we could play it. We'd have to get set up with a uh, mouse and keyboard set up here. But we could probably do it. We got about three more minutes. It might go a little long, but if you got more questions, I like this chat we got going. You guys are asking a lot of good questions, a lot of good feedback, a lot of good suggestions. Oh shoot! The horror game in Minecraft. I, I missed that one, but yeah, we could. We could probably make Minecraft interesting, but if, if, as long as you guys would like to see us playing Minecraft, that's that's the key. Thomas is getting winded, I think. I'm good. I can hear you breathing, Thomas. Can you? Yes. Thomas is getting winded. Are you independent developers? Uh, yes, we are. Well, we were in, we're an independent studio. Yes, we're not owned by anybody other than our three owners. We're not even a publicly traded company. Think you can survive a little longer? Yeah. Be good. <laughs> Stop it. Thomas is getting tired. He's getting really tired. I lived. I beat it. Well, can you do a whole nother level? And you got one challenge that whole time. And both times. Both levels. Let's go back to an earlier level and try to get... Go to, like, the second level or the first level and try to get a million points. Jeez. Please. Do you like PUBG or Fortnite? What's your favorite? Uh, I don't know, Thomas. Do you have a preference? I PUBG or Fortnite? Yeah. I personally prefer PUBG. Is that because it's FPS? Um, yeah, I like the FPS. I like the more realistic vibe. I like how important the audio is in that game. Mm -hmm. And I, the building stuff is in Fortnite is really cool. Yeah. But I, I just kind of like the more tactile feel of PUBG. I don't know if you heard that. He like he prefers PUBG. I don't really have a preference. Um, I do like the art art style of Fortnite better. Um, I would agree with that. I think watching the games, I feel like PUBG, because there's less of the building, I like the building, but I feel like sometimes when you're watching it, all you see is the person building constantly. It's not as fun to watch from that perspective. Can Brian show his face? Brian did show his face, but he had to go back to work. He was on the couch for a little bit. Um, what level do you want me to go to? So if you missed him, you can watch. Go to mission one and try to get the a million points. Um, if you go back and watch the stream after it's done, you'll see you'll see Brian's face. I'm sure he's gonna love that you asked for that question. It might be talking about. Well, me. Fortnite has been in development longer, but Fortnite Battle Royale. The version of Fortnite that is comparable to PUBG 
has not been in development longer than PUBG, as far as I know. But the game itself, yes, the game was, is still a, the non-Battle Royale version of Fortnite has been in development for quite a while. In fact, I think they announced Fortnite before we even announced Sunset Overdrive. Could you hug every single person that worked on Sunset Overdrive? I could, but I would have to fly to Burbank as well and hug, hug them. But I tell you what, next time in Burbank, I will do my best. I'll, list, I'll at least hug Marcus Smith, creative director. I'll give him a big bear hug because he loves it when I hug him. Marcus is a big hugger. If you ever see Marcus Smith, hug him. Why is it that I can't collect more than 10 million and three bolts? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. It's probably because our counter doesn't go higher than that. There's probably something in the code. I don't know why it's three. Um, I'll have to ask a programmer. Does our office get a lot of work done in the week? Uh, yeah, we get tons of stuff done. In fact, that's why the game is so exciting. Or all the games we make are so exciting because... Like, on a weekly basis, the games change. And on a weekly basis, they get better. So. What does Ted Price do? Ted Price, uh, he doesn't do much. He doesn't do much. He, uh, he founded the company. He runs the company. He handles all of our business relations along with Ryan Schneider and, and uh, our CFO and um, everything. He does PR. He gives feedback on all of our games. He, uh, he play tests. He's fun to play test against, I'll tell you that. My first experience with Ted Price I sat outside of his office when Resistance 3 was was playing, and we did um, play tests of multiplayer of R3, and I just remember the profanities coming out of his office during a play test was hilarious. And I was just like, what other what other company do you hear your CF CEO screaming because he got shot in a multiplayer game? Uh, Alright, so we're basically out of time, Thomas. Are you going to think you're going to get a million points? You're not doing the first level. I thought you were doing the first level. Oh, I don't recognize this section. Maybe because I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, any other final questions before we go to keep Sorry Man Minecraft in Minecraft OneDrive? In Microsoft OneDrive. We don't, well, I mean, we have. Uh, plenty of systems in place that shares assets between both studios. Um, you know, so there's plenty of easy ways and fast transfers that we can send stuff back and forth coast to coast. Never played Resistance 3. Yes, you should play it. It's amazing. I love it. It's one of my favorites. What do you think about Ted Price? Man, are you trying to get me fired? No, I love Ted Price. He's, he's, it's, everyone in this company, I love this whole company. The management, everything, which is a great place to work. What was your question? Oh, the OneDrive thing. I just answered that. Oh, the OneDrive. I'm sorry, I didn't laugh. I, I get it. I get it. But you know what? We do use Microsoft OneDrive. We do use Office 365. Um, Alright, any other final questions? Thomas looks like he's not even close to a million points. So... We're probably going to cut this short. I got to I gotta do go. How much time do you have left? Do you know? I don't know. But I know I got to go talk to John. Oh, you got to do real work? Yeah. Is this not real work? I mean... This is real work. All right. I'm by myself again. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. I cut away. You can stop playing. Go get some water. Bye. Go drink a Gatorade. Uh, so we're streaming tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. And the schedule, I'll post, as you'll see as soon as I end this stream, you'll see the schedule. It's the same every week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is 2 p.m. Pacific. Tuesday, Thursday is 11 a.m. Pacific. Well, thank you, Zeldrin. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. We'll see all you next time. Uh, come back.
Yes, 5 p.m. Eastern. Yes, tomorrow. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays is 2 p.m. Eastern. So come back, join us, follow us. Uh, don't forget to join our contest if you haven't seen it. I'll post it real quick. Here we go. Go to this URL. Enter the contest. And we'll see you next time. All right, thanks.